Hello, welcome back for another tutorial on how to use Lean Screen. Again, just to reiterate this, it doesn't matter what base application you start with. If you start with Posture Screen, you can upgrade to a Lean Screen. If you start with Squat Screen, you can upgrade to a Lean Screen. Um, it doesn't matter, the base applications just start in a different uh, position. So if you buy the Lean Screen app, it starts with the base of doing Lean Screen body composition. But you can always add on additional features. With that said, Let's go ahead and begin our first assessment with the client back here on a body composition. Now, realistically, we're going to want to have them in the most revealing clothing uh, dress as possible. For men, it would be just in shorts, barefoot with their shirt off. Uh, for women, it'd be best if they're in a sports top with obviously shorts as well, something tight and form fitting. Um, in this example, he's fully dressed, he has his shoes off, and just remember the most important thing you can do is we need to know that client's exact height. You may not want to take it for, for uh, concrete evidence that they say they're six foot two, but they're really six foot. Um, that makes a difference in the prediction factors and algorithms, so we want to make sure we get a true uh, estimate of their height. You might want to measure their height before you do this. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit new screening and then I'm gonna put in male, female. Remember, this is very, very important on lean screen. We gotta make sure that we get the male or female correctly because it changes the algorithms. So we're gonna go ahead and put Tim and I'm gonna call him Doe. And he is six foot, so I'm gonna type in six. And I use this next down here to just toggle through. And his body weight, I already know he's 155. And I know his year, he was born in uh, 69. Okay, we'll just bring this down and I'm just gonna change the date there. We can go ahead and put an email address in. I'm gonna go ahead and put in our corporate email address. And if you have any questions on this, um, we go over this in the uh, tutorials on how to set up your, your device. With that being said, for a lean screen, we're only gonna use two uh, images at this time. So all I have to do is click on this thumbnail to open up the camera to snap pictures within the iPad, or if I have photographs that I've imported, if they've emailed to you or um, that are on the device, we can go ahead and hit uh, pull in from a camera roll. One additional thing that we can do that I wanna to talk to you about is that if you do calipers or uh, bioelectroimpedance on your clients as well too, we have a unique factor that we can turn on down in here, we can go ahead and put in a different uh, value uh, right now, I have it on an air pressure body composition that we were working with at a trade show. Um, we can do an assessment with them, put in that percent body fat, and what we get with our anthropometric measurements, we're going to go ahead and average with that. So this could be anything. It could be an in-body, a Tanita scale, anything like that, or even calipers. So now we're going to go ahead and take photos of the client. I click on this to open up the camera. And then... What we're gonna do is we wanna make sure we get a nice, accurate uh, image. We wanna try and shoot this at his waist if possible. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a volume up to snap the picture, but you can use this button here, to, right here. I'll do this first one with your thumb. Okay, and here what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit use photo, and I'm gonna come down here and come up this way. We're gonna hit next. And if you get any of these prompts the first time that you're using the app, make sure you click OK. If you click Do Not Allow, you won't be able to access the camera. This time, I'm going to use the volume up to snap the picture. And then hit Use. OK. These calibration points are very, very important. We want to bring this down to the top of their head and the lateral aspect of their foot. If the floor was not level when we shot the picture, we can use these tools to level the floor down here. OK. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and now hit next. Now we have a calibrated shot. If I'd like to come back later and finish it later, I can hit save and finish later right here. Okay. Um, if I'm, I want to go ahead and, and begin with a, a lean screen analysis, I can go ahead and do so as well too. Uh, since this is a tutorial on lean screen, I'm going to go ahead and just begin. Now I'm going to hit begin lean screen. At this point, it tells you exactly what to click here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click the side view of his neck, the side view of his neck. Now, obviously, his shirt's a little blousey, so we got to make some estimates on where we think his torso is. Belly button. We want to be on level with the belly button if possible. And then the lateral sides of the widest portions of their hips. We're going to hit next. 
We're gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna come in to his neck, come into his neck here. I'm gonna try and estimate it in because his shirt's blousey. So in this scenario, we're gonna to have to guess where we think his body margins are. That's why we wanna have him in the most revealing clothing as possible. But we should still get him in the ballpark of uh, around three to 4%. Um, I'm gonna move this out just a little bit. Move this out. There we go, that looks pretty good. And if we wanna make any adjustments, let me go back here and just double check. That looks good. I can go ahead, maybe I bring in a little bit more here. Maybe bring in his body's a little bit more in there. That looks good. So you can go back and, and change these points if you'd like to. So plus or minus 14%, we have all these measurements already done. If I wanted to preview the values, I could hit this button to generate the PDF or preview the PDF. But what we're gonna concentrate on is sending this to the client. We're gonna go ahead and click down here. I'm gonna hit lean screen and I'm gonna email it to the client. So it has a nice template. I'm gonna hit send. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing just to show you what we've generated is right here. You can put obviously put in your own logo. And with the unlimited subscription, you can go ahead and change your colors. You can erase the lean screen logo um, and make it truly a customized report with all your colors and branding. So we can see average percent body fat, 14%, uh, which is you know pretty amazing since we didn't even touch the client, we only took his photographs. Body mass index, waist hip ratio, lean body mass, fat body mass, BMR, all calculated. That's how easy it is to perform a lean screen from two photographs on the iPad. For any additional questions, reach out to support at posturescreen.com. Thank you.